you know, I see the place as a, as a means of, of promoting uh, justice and promoting, uh, uh, create, helping to create a more humane and just and more inclusive society. So, so when I, to have this opportunity to, to thank the, the, the cast and the, the, the playwright personally is uh, it's a joy for me. It's a privilege. So that's why I enjoy it. In the world of theater, when you're trying to do a play, especially a play that is based on real people and when you have an, um, an autobiography that you're adapting to the stage, and you know that some of these people that are in the story are still here, very present, and, um, and characters that evolve in the story are also very present in, in, in your community. It's something we have to study. It's something that we have to establish strong, concrete understanding of who these people were and are in real life. And we don't get that luxury in the theater very often. And it all worked out beautifully that would allow our cast to come meet the author of the books, but also the main character of the play that we're presenting, and ask questions that will help you honor those characters and allow those individual personalities evolve into the play. And hopefully students that see this performance will be able to see a truth that they read in the book and allow them to be able to see it personified on the stage. Well, I, I saw it as a, an opportunity for me to help them. Um, and, um, and I was very impressed by their sensitivity, the questions they were asking, the interest they had in knowing more about their real characters so that they could then portray them uh, much better. Um, so I, 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 I enjoyed it very, very much. And, and, as I, and as I told them, I feel very honored that they are going to be presenting your play depicting my family, but also many, that's the experiences of many, many families. As I mentioned in, in Breaking Through, uh, thanks to Mrs. Bell, who introduced me to the Grapes of Wrath, um, and for the first time I was able to um, make a connection between my own experience and something that I was reading. And um, for the first time, I realized the power of language and literature to move mm -hmm. hearts and minds because I was moved. And I thought, after reading about the Joe family, I said, "Well, that, that that's my that's, that's my story as well." Uh, and so years later, you know, when I reflected on the on, on that experience, and Mrs. Bell telling me that I had writing talent, when I was still struggling with English language and grammar and so forth, that made a world of difference for me. And it, sometimes I felt that I didn't have the preparation if, to, to succeed academically because everybody around me seemed so much smarter, so much more um, experienced. And in moments like that, when I felt like I can't do this, that's when I began reflecting on my childhood experiences. And I began writing recollections to give me the courage not to give up yeah. gave me a sense of permanence and stability when we were moving from place to place following the seasonal crops that whatever I learned on my own whatever I learned in school that knowledge would go with me